will have adrenaline inside our body that's been in there from a long time ago. And that adrenaline is stored in our cells. Okay, for instance, all right, you get betrayed. I mean, any of the guys in the audience right here listening, you know, if you guys have been betrayed before, have you been backstabbed? Any of the, any of the dudes out there, have they been backstabbed? Sure, Maybe, everybody. Yeah. Right? Broken trust. What about, what, did your trust get broken? You know, did did any of that like happen? Did you ever get enraged? Like any guys out in the audience, get, like this isn't fear, this isn't fair, this isn't right. Yeah, this isn't justice, you know, or or any guys that were judged for the wrong reason and you're just emotionally distraught or maybe it's a real bad, maybe a loss in your life. You know, maybe you went through something, right? What happens is your adrenaline is running and pumping throughout your body. And that adrenaline has information in it of the hard times you just went through right there. So when in the middle of that betrayal, in the middle of that backstab, in the middle of it, your your adrenaline was surging and that adrenaline had information of your hard time you went through. And then we're eating the high fat foods and and we're doing things in our life that don't allow the adrenaline to leave our body and it has to find a home inside our body so it absorbs into every cell inside our body and mostly the liver. And when that old adrenaline gets in the liver, it has information of that betrayal that happened, betrayal that happened 10 years ago, five years ago, from that, you know, break up with a friend, from that you know, confrontation that you had with a coworker, a business person, a business partner, something fell through with a business partner, you got backstabbed, you know what I mean, on some deal you were making. And whatever happened, that adrenaline of that hurt in that moment got stored into your cells inside your liver. And then it sits in there and it leaks out every once in a while and it makes you feel unstable and it makes you feel emotional and it makes you feel like, hey, I, I think – I need to do something. I need to meditate to control it. You know, that's just one, just one little example. But the bottom line is meditation is great. I love it. That's why I have it in my books. It's a, it's a supportive tool. It's a supportive Band-Aid. I want everybody to just do the meditations that makes them happy in life. I want them to do the breath work and the meditations. I want them to think positive. You got to think positive. It's important. But I don't want you being blamed for your sickness and your illness because you're not thinking positive enough. God forbid you do, okay? It's not your fault you're sick with a symptom. It's not your fault that you you got a condition and you're suffering or struggling. It's not because you're a bad person. It's not because you need spiritual work. It's not because you're just not a great enough person and not enough spiritual enough person or you're not thinking positive enough or you're not or you're creating it. I'll tell you right now. One thing I'm going to tell you Justin is that when you start, when we start going out around, when everybody's starting to think we created our problems from our thoughts and we're creating, we're, we're attracting bad things, you know what that does to that 15 year old that is sick and, it, and then picks up somewhere that, that 15 year old that, that picks up that maybe they're creating this and they're causing this to themselves, you know what I mean? Maybe they're creating their symptoms and illness. See, science and research. And the medical communities don't know why everybody's falling sick with chronic illness. So the whole thing about the positive thoughts and about creating it and attracting it all were derived over the last so many years because there were no other answers. Why are you miserable? Why are you sick? Why are you emotional mess? Nobody knew it was the toxic heavy metals that were giving people bipolar and and giving people ADHD and all these other things. Nobody knew it was the toxic heavy metals like mercury that were giving them – um, depression that were giving them anxiety. Nobody knew. So people, you know, in the old days, you were just crazy, you know, when you had all that, but it was, there were real things happening and nobody knew about this. So what happens is it was all about, if we have no answers, we don't know why you're sick. We don't know why you're emotional. We don't know why you have depression and anxiety. Maybe you're just not a, a good person in the sense you're a good person, but you need work. You're broken. Maybe you need to start attracting better things. Maybe you need to think more positive thoughts. Maybe you need to do more meditations and breath work. It's really an an insult to the people that are really suffering and struggling. And, you know, and it's like, it's really kind of sad in so many ways because if you, if you're growing up and you're young and you think you attracted your illness, it's devastating. 
I'm just being straight up on that. It's yeah. real because you know why? Because I've seen it. I've seen it out there. Yeah. And um, there's young people that are like, wait a minute. I'm not thinking positive enough. I'm not. Maybe I'm attracting it. It hurts the soul. It hurts the soul. So, what I'm trying to say is, I'm not against meditation. I love it for people. It's supportive. It's a healing tool in a way. And if you love what you're doing, you love to do it. It's great. Just don't ever submit to you creating your illness with your thoughts or not thinking positive and attracting your sick, attracting your illness or attracting your emotional, your emotional stability, your emotional symptoms, like you're creating them because yes, meditation can help a lot of people with keeping stable, but let's go for the real root problem. Let's go for the real thing. You got the toxic heavy metals. You got the mercury and aluminum. You got the copper inside your body. You got the viruses and the neurotoxins. You got the stored adrenaline. You got all these different things that are happening inside your body. Let's clean it up so you get rid of your depression and you get rid of that emotional sense of that those patterns that happen that you can't break from it. You know, and that's what I like. I like actually fixing the problem and not just using band-aids. So I get it. I get it. When you don't know what causes illness out there and you don't know why people are sick with all kinds of things emotionally, mentally, physically, you know, you just you start you start telling them it's their thoughts. You know, you start telling them where else can you go besides, whoa, you got to master your mind. You got to master your thoughts. You got to master. You got to master your you got to be a master of your own thoughts and minds and all that. And you got to you got to learn how to meditate and you got to learn how to get spiritually connected. And you got to look. I have respect for all of that. I'm sure I'm making somebody mad in your audience. You know, someone's going to be like, all right, now I, I like this guy from the beginning. Now I don't like him anymore. And, but I'm not putting down it. I'm, put, I'm just saying that, yeah, do the meditations. I offer them in the books, some meditations that are powerful mm-hmm. as healing tools. But it's not the end all. And we don't create our problems. We're not creating. I bet you the guys in the audience, I bet you they're good guys. And they sure as hell aren't trying to create their own damn problems. Mm-hmm. I know they don't want to. They don't want to. They don't want to have a problem. They're not trying to manifest it. <laughs> <laughs> they're not. They're not manifesting. They're not attracting their problems. And and just you know and just they you know bad things happen here on planet Earth. This is not an easy place to live in, live on. And there's a spiritual war going on all around us and above us. Okay, and. We don't attract bad things. We don't. We, are, we don't attract things that are happening to us. We're challenged because it's a spiritual war going on around us and above us. And we have to keep that in mind. There's always something else happening around us that we don't see. We have to remember that part. Stop blaming ourselves. See? Just like the medical industry and science research doesn't know why everybody's sick, the spiritual industry – doesn't know about the spiritual war that's happening all around us. And these are these are things that are happening. Instead, here's how it goes. You're creating it, you're attracting it, you know, Justin, you're you're sick because you're doing this. You're actually not thinking positive enough. You attracted this. You brought you manifested this. So you better get your thoughts in line. You better get spiritually balanced, man. You better get into those meditations fast and you better master your logic in your mind. <laughs> <laughs> rewire your brain and cells i don't buy it mm. no way no way because it's not that's not how it works you're a good person you never did anything wrong you got to pat yourself on the back you got to love yourself unconditionally you got to have compassion for yourself you didn't do any you're not a faulty person you're sick or you struggled because there's real reasons for god's sake there's real reasons that actually caused it okay and it's not because you're emotionally unstable because of who you are as a person and, you know, and all that stuff and everything else. And you just need to work harder to fix it. You got to fix yourself. It, the blame game has to stop. It's happening in alternative medicine. It's happening in spiritual medicine. It's happening in conventional medicine. It's always about blaming the person. And guess what? It's such an easy sell, Justin, because people – because when you don't understand something, it's so easy to blame yourself. It's so easy to blame yourself like this. Just you could blame yourself in a second like, yeah, I'm a jerk. Oh, wait. No, I am an idiot. No, wait a minute. I, I, I'm not – you're right. I must be creating this since there's no answers out there. 
It's just really hard. So, I mean, I'm basically saying I'm protecting the people with chronic illness. You tell somebody on Mattress, Mattress Island, whether they're a girl or a guy or anybody, and you, you, you tell somebody on Mattress Island that they're just – they're manifesting their symptoms and – it's a tough one because the minute that starts getting more popular out there, the chronically ill suffer from it the most because you got all these young people in their 20s and teens and early 30s and they're laying on their bed and they're suffering with their symptoms and they've been to 10 doctors and, and then learning and picking up that it's all about manifesting your thoughts and that's why you're sick. I, I, I've already seen out there. It's just it's – it's, it's, once again, the chronically ill are just – you know, not treat it as good as they need to. And they get, they get a brunt of a few things. When you have your body pain and your severe acne, was it your thoughts that created your severe acne? You know, and anyone with any symptom that won't go away, I'm not talking about people that are chronically, chronically sick and ill, anybody with a symptom that won't go away, like acne or anything that they're struggling from. It's like we, we manifested our acne and that's where it heads to the minute we start we start doing that. But I want people to meditate because I, because it's a it's a handy tool, a supportive tool. And there's all kinds of different flavors of it out there. And you can experiment on the ones you like or whoever's out there doing them. And and you know, same thing with breath work. I love it because it's 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 naturally a healing tool in many ways and it's a supportive tool. And you have all I like all these. I love them. But I'm just being honest and I'm just saying it like it is where You know, you didn't create your sickness and let's get down to the bottom of it and fix it so that you're not trying to meditate for the next 10 years visiting another 50 doctors. You know, that's really what it is. But I still want people to do it as a helpful support. It just, it can't fix debilitating eczema. You know, someone, someone threw at me recently. They're like, they're like, AW, you know, uh, what about meditation to fix my eczema? And I'm like, go ahead then tried a zillion times <laughs> and it's because it, they didn't want to do they didn't want to do the heavy metal detox smoothie yeah they didn't want to do the they didn't want to get rid of the things that were in their body that they had to get rid of they didn't want to clean up they were like i heard about meditation and and i could manifest my eczema to go away i'm pretty sure i'm like just go ahead and work on it and just let me know when you're ready <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe you can like you know wear a jacket for the first time and get rid of your eczema and wear a jacket without crying, you know, as your skin's cracking and bleeding. I, you know, it's like yeah. let's, let's let's fix it. Let's fix it. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah. Uh, Anthony, I could literally talk to you all day, man. I feel like I'm talking to a real life encyclopedia. This is awesome. I just want to do like maybe a couple minutes and just like rapid fire ask you questions. And um, but I, I just want a couple like quick topics if you can give like a like a quick yes or no type of answer if it's good or if it's not, or if it, you know, yeah, that. go ahead. No, of course I'm here. Let's right, sweet, you got man. me. You got sweet, me. Man. I appreciate <laughs> it. All right. So first thing rapid fire, Anthony is, yeah. uh, EMFs and you know, all the technology coming out with that lately, you know, all the improvements and upgrades and all this other stuff. How big of a, an effect does that have on the body? EMFs? Is that a big concern for people? Should we be aware of that? Or is that not, is it kind of overblown? Get yourself strong. Fix the real problems so you can be like the person where that doesn't even affect them. Okay. Just – just that's what it is. The, the world is not going to change. There's always going to be something annoying, toxic, disturbing, and stupid going on. Mm-hmm. There's always going to be something like that happening. Get the Cleanse the Heal book. Learn how to heal and get strong so you don't care about EMFs. So you just – you're living your life. It's just like, what? What's EMF? What? You know what I mean? Um, you know what I mean? And and the whole bit. But go ahead. Okay. Next one is uh, HIV AIDS. I don't think I've ever heard you talk about that virus in any of the books. Is that – not getting too deep into that, but is that something that people can recover from just like some of the other conditions with, you know, the right protocols in line and some of the things you talk about? Absolutely. You know, I mean, I mean, it's a virus. Okay. You know, HIV is a virus. And, and, and what, what do you do with viruses? You break them down. You destroy them. You use the celery juice. You know, you, you, you learn how to you learn how to just break those viruses down and work on healing. Absolutely. And you can take control of your health 100 percent and move forward. So and, and get the books, learn how to work with viruses 
and just you know and and you can head there okay um hyperbaric